I don't think that farming was ever easy, but there were trends that could be followed and there was times when planting was safe and success was more or less guaranteed. Whereas now I feel that, yeah, the map is, has been wiped clean a little bit and, and it, we just go by feel. And I'm concerned that not a lot of people are concerned about climate change. And I think they don't, they don't realize that, you know, all of these natural systems affect them. They think, well, you know, that must be a big deal for you as a farmer. And I think, no, it's a big deal for everybody. When I first started farming, my mentor gave me a list of planting dates. And I thought, oh good, now I'm gonna know what I'm doing. I, you know, I can plant my potatoes on the 1st of April and, and my carrots on the 15th of May and, and I'll experience success. That worked for the first few years, but then I realized, gosh, you know, there's not, there's no cardinal points here on exactly what to do when, because, you know, some years it's good, some years it doesn't work. And I think what I'm doing now is just taking a lot more risks. When the seed is not adapted to even any of the conditions that you're likely to be exposed to, then how are you going to experience success? What I love to do is get plants that have experienced climate extremes. So this kale was exposed to two incidents of minus 18. The kale that lives through that freak storm, you save the seed from that, and then you plant that, and then in it has the memory of how to survive in these cold conditions. And I think that's a big part of the solution is getting seeds that have seen that minus 18, that freak incident, and have lived. So what we're trying to do is learn to breed our own seed. I selected for all these traits that work well for my farm, and then these plants went over the winter, and then we've just harvested the seed from them. And uh, next year, when I plant them, I will expect all of them to live through the winter. So we're slowly breeding seed that is climate resistant. This does give me hope for the future. Our strategy now is just being more resilient, finding more varieties of locally grown seed that can adapt to our climate. You know, we have a, a specific climate circumstance, and the more that we can adapt our seed to this growing condition, I think that's a big piece of the climate change puzzle.